Hello everybody and welcome to my new video. First, I would like to thank everyone for watching my videos. And special thanks to uh, all the viewers uh, who pressed like and subscribe button. Don't forget there is also a comment option on YouTube, so if you have any questions, you can write them down below my video. And in today's video, I want to show you one more Hanayama puzzle. It's a quartet puzzle. Uh, difficulty level of this puzzle is 6. And the goal of this puzzle is a little bit different because you have to disassemble this puzzle and to assemble it to uh, another state. And then to make all this uh, back to its original state. So let's open the box. Inside the box, as always, you can find information about other Hanayama puzzles, a description, which has no solution, and puzzle itself. As all other Hanayama cast series puzzles, this one is made out of metal. It looks like it's silver, but actually it's black metal, but it's very shiny. And this puzzle consists of four parts, two on the right, two on the left. They can be moved. But the goal is to separate them. Uh, actually, it takes me a lot of time to figure out how to disassemble and assemble this puzzle again. Because first time I took it apart by mistake and spend a lot of time trying to assemble it again. To assemble it into its second state, it's not so difficult, uh, and I will show it to you a little bit later. And if you want to see the solution of this puzzle, uh, you can keep watching the video. But if you don't want to spoil all the fun trying to solve this puzzle by yourself, stop watching now. Before I show you how to solve this puzzle, uh, we have to take it in a right uh, position. So, first we have to find one piece which has Hanayama sign and keep it in your right hand and we have to turn it so that the Hanayama sign facing down and uh, close to you. And on the left side we have one piece with quartet sign uh, so we have to put it so that it's going to be on the left and facing down. So our first move is to take this quartet piece, rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. And the next move is going to be to take this quartet piece and move it to this side. To do this, we have to separate our middle piece, put there our uh, right piece and that's how you can easily move the quartet piece to the left. So next we have to take this piece and put it on this side. Uh, for this we have to rotate quartet piece this cutout, uh, so that cutout face down, like this. And now uh, we have to uh, move this piece on this side. Sometimes it takes a lot of time before you find the correct position to move this piece, because all the moves are supposed to be very precise to solve this puzzle. So, let me try to find this correct position. Usually it may take a few minutes before you can find the correct position. And sometimes it helps just to shake the puzzle a little bit, if nothing happens before you can rotate this piece to the right position. Oh, 
Okay, that's how I made it. It's not an easy task, but actually you can do it. Just have to sometimes make random moves or shake it a little bit to move it on the right side. So now we have to turn our puzzle upside down. And as you can see, we can separate our two parts easily just by moving them, uh, the cutouts through each other. The next move is to rotate it like this and separate middle parts and take this left piece through cut out in one of the middle pieces and right piece also and our puzzle is disassembled. That's how you do it. It doesn't look so difficult uh, if you know how to solve it, but it may take a lot of time before you find the correct position uh, to move all the pieces. So to put this puzzle in our uh, second state, we have to take the quartet piece, uh, put it uh, with the sine quartet face down, like this, and then grab a Hanayama piece, put it on top of quartet piece like this and the next one take this piece two other pieces combine them the same as first two pieces and now combine all four pieces together that's how you assemble it into its second state actually I like this puzzle in this state much more and it's nice because you can play with it, like trying to open it and close it. Also, uh, to, uh, to disassemble it, just move it like this and that's all. If you uh, put this part a little bit different, for example, like this, you can combine them together as well, but uh, you're gonna uh, you're going to have a little bit different uh, shape. It's gonna be like this. Pretty nice as well. You can move it like this. You can move it like this, and separate it. So that's how you can play with this part. So the Final goal is to assemble it again. Uh, to do this, we have to uh, find pieces which can be combined. So, as you can see, if I combine quartet piece and just unsigned piece, it doesn't give me the correct uh, form, correct shape. So, this is not the piece I'm looking for. I'm gonna take another unsigned piece and put it here and as you can see now it's in a correct shape so we're gonna take these two pieces put them aside now okay we can combine these two pieces so next what we have to do is to take this piece uh, put this is unnamed piece and put it inside another piece. This piece has Hanayama sign, as you can see. We have to put them, them like this. And we can take the quartet piece and combine it with another unsigned piece. Now we have to connect these middle pieces like this. And now we have to connect these cutouts of the middle piece and the left piece and also cut out of the middle piece and the right piece. So half of our puzzle is assembled. Now we have to assemble only these two pieces. For this you have to put them like this uh, so that your quartet piece is going to be on the top 
unsigned piece on the bottom and move it like this. So if you make it like this quartered piece on the bottom, it's not gonna work, so you are not gonna assemble it. So quartered piece on the top, unsigned piece on the bottom and put it through each other uh, and next move we have to take this piece uh, and move it to this side and this piece on the left we have to move it on this side as well so first we will turn this piece cut out inside uh, now we can easily move our second piece on the right position and now we have to take this left piece and move it to our final position to do it it's sometimes it's pretty complicated it may take some time to do this but as a result you're combining these two pieces and your puzzle is assembled again it's in our original state in my opinion this was the easiest way to solve this puzzle but there are a few more different ways how you can disassemble this puzzle. One of them is uh, the, almost the same. You have to take the quartered piece, face it down, rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, uh, then move it to the left. And from the, this point, you have to take one of the middle pieces and disassemble it from quartered piece. And all the other steps are pretty easy. No, so you can disassemble the whole puzzle. Uh, but uh, this is not the uh, only solution. The, there is one more solution how you can solve yeah. this puzzle. Uh, for another solution, you have to take the quartered piece uh, on the right and Hanayama piece on the left. So that the Hanayama sign facing down. Uh, rotate it 90 degrees clockwise uh, now uh, put it uh, to the left and put our unsigned piece so that the cutout facing up and from this point you have to put the Hanayama piece between these two middle pieces so you have to separate them and put the honey ammo piece like this. Uh, the next step is going to be to put this piece like this and to take the middle piece and disassemble uh, our puzzle and all our parts. It's not going to be difficult. To assemble it again, just put it uh, all the puzzle in the same shape as before. Find the Hanayama piece. Put this piece up so that you can move our unnamed piece to the bottom. Like this. Now you have to take the Hanayama piece up. Connect middle pieces and now just take the Hanayama piece to its original position, which is to combine it with unsigned piece. So that's how uh, you disassemble it a little bit different way. I like this puzzle uh, a lot just because it gives you a lot of options how you can solve it and you have to think a lot, you have to make a lot of moves uh, before you find the correct solution. 
And I think the difficulty rating of 6 is pretty deserved rating for this puzzle. If you like my video and you want to see more of my videos, press like and subscribe button.